How's it going? How are you doing? Let's do another pick a card. And today's going to be where's the gossip about you. Let's stay cool. It could be a positive outcome. It could be, uh, well, we never know. <laughs> Let's stay cool about this. Okay, one, two, one, two. Part number one, where's the gossip about you? Five of sword, the hermit, and the six of wands. So what will people will say about you is that, that you definitely spend quite a long time on your own. You probably uh, chose to do so. You wanted to regroup and uh, wounded animal generally, they go and hide somewhere in a cave. That's probably what you did. And uh, when you come out, if you're about to come out maybe as well, you will go one step at a time, okay? You're not gonna be rushing into anything, absolutely not. So what people say and gossip about you is that you left a lot of stuff behind you uh, through that process. You redefined the I am, the ace of one here, and you choose love and maybe simply self-love. And that is phenomenal, okay? So yes, some people may be as well feeling now a little bit inadequate, not strong enough because they never really had that strength to be alone. They were always uh, supported by maybe their family, by a, um, a partner, but you chose to be alone for a long time and not everyone can do that. Um, but the thing is, yeah, they might say, well, do you find yourself in then? And maybe they, they wonder, would I have the strength to do it? I don't think so, but you did. Whether you chose to be on your own or maybe you were forced to be on your own, uh, yes, you went through dramatic moment, okay? One more for some reason. Yes, and that's how now you can find your own home. And also maybe you moved home, maybe you find your very special someone, that could be a twin. And also you are doing great. You know, people can see that you're very special and you're doing things really uh, uh, on your own, um, on your own, first of all, but also with your, your own identity. You find yourself, and because you're so unique, you find your own voice, and now you're creating things that are very you. And that's the beauty of it, okay? You really find it yourself, you find yourself, and that is the point. Some people, they're trying to follow a trend. You just don't follow anybody. You're on your own, you know what you're about, and because you are so unique and you're creating in your unique way, whatever it is, you are doing something really special and you are probably seen by a lot of people and appreciated. Beautiful here, okay? So you see what the gossip about you is not always, you know, about gossips in a sense of negativity. It can also be very positive. So let's have a look. What do I have here? I left you before you could leave me. Well, yeah, inevitably, you know, you decided to uh, leave a past behind. Yes, absolutely. Anything that was a little bit mm, uh, didn't really resonate anymore, you just say, bye, I'm out of here. And also because you wanted to be on your own. So you were not there to entertain. You didn't want to go to parties and things like that. Or you didn't really want to see people. You don't want to mingle because you have something else to do. And the result is that you are truly yourself now. The unknown, here you go. Do not fear the unknown. It is, this is a time for of deep exploration and transformation a familiar territory leads to new horizons here you have it okay so this is the unknown that you had to go and find mm, within obviously you know the thing is unknown is not just traveling the world and uh, no that is still a distraction from within when you are really going to the unknown is when you go inside and when you go really to your core and that's what you did and that's what will make you uh, absolutely unique and will bring you a lot of success. So, part number two is gossip about you. What do we have? The magician, the two of cups and the nine of pentacles. Well, interesting again. Uh, people will say that you're manifesting. You manifested as well uh, maybe someone that is very dear to you. Maybe as well uh, you're working on a partnership that is very, very important and very real and successful. There is an idea of you receiving the fruit of your labor. Maybe financially you're receiving, uh, you know, the reward after a long period of hard work. It's very possible. Uh, it's also you uh, coming out of situation uh, where you have been challenged and you still remain very elegant. You want to be true to yourself and you want to conduct yourself with proud and to do things properly. So I would say... Well, the, the gossip about you is like, wow, well, look at her or look at him now, you know, that is it. Uh, you have produced something. You have been 
manifesting something or manifesting yourself maybe you're back and that was uh, after a long period of search and maybe of a very difficult time and you had to really dig very deep to find yourself and yes maybe some people might say as well that you were very um social butterfly you know uh, here not here a bit of an illusion well the thing is you were busy building something okay and maybe you didn't let people know what you were doing but you had a partnership or maybe you found your special someone and you want to keep your private life private hell yeah that is important your private life should stay private a big 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 advice there mm -hmm. right so let's go to the hidden juice and recall what do we have this one is always fascinating but the other one as well but to be honest i want to feel that way again well yeah maybe people want to manifest you again but i think you move on um i think you are now with other people more i don't know um i think you are go a pair of shoes and now you are with people who are very relevant to you uh you didn't want to have people showing one version of themselves and and uh, another to other people you want someone or people more grounded and it's why you have all those pentacles it's very grounded energy i think people around you at some point were very uh, a social butterfly a bit of an illusion you knew them one way but they were presenting themselves in a different way and that kind of made you always feel a little bit uncomfortable and you decided no i don't want to be hanging around with people like that i want to see someone who's the same regardless who they're talking to hmm. You know, and also maybe you wanted people who conduct themselves with a little bit more grand, uh, grand in energy. You know, people who knew where they were exactly. Wisdom. Hmm? Everything has a place and a purpose. To be wise is to have great love, tolerance and compassion for all things. Yeah. But I think you're very wise now and you, you've you been around. A lot of people now maybe they realize, my God, I don't know how you managed to go through all of that and come out on the other side. Yeah, I think the worst is behind you and you're very wise. As a result, you know who is who and you're only going to um, come closer to people who have been through something like you. You know, the one who has been kind of protected, um, they won't resonate with you. It's not a judgment. It's just that, you know, you haven't been through the same thing. So, you know, you and it doesn't have to be exactly the mem, the, the mem <laughs> French and English, the same context, but someone needs to have experienced loss and to rebuild themselves after that regardless of the context in order to be resonating with you hmm? and that's the way it is people who haven't really uh, been down that road it's okay but it's not that deep it's not that close because they can't relate to you they just no so it's okay it's all good at the end of the day uh, you know people uh, the gossip about you is people saying that you're very wise wiser than ever mm -hmm, you bet but some people don't like to hear the wisdom <laughs> on this note have a beautiful day and i'll see you tomorrow Mwah. ciao